I like that. I like that a lot. Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. We're here on our back patio trying to get some things ready for this weekend. We're gonna have some friends over. So what my wife has done is she went and picked up these bar stools and these are great. They're all metal painted. They're rated for outdoor use. She's asked if I could build a little patio bar that goes right underneath the kitchen window. And I've got some uh, some piece of wood I think will be just perfect. All right, so what this is, this is some rough cut catalpa wood. I thought that this would be a great opportunity to use it. Just ran into the uh, mini barn and grabbed some of the stuff that I think that I'm going to need. Hopefully we should be able to do all this with just these tools. So one of the first things that we're going to need to do is figure out how high we want this countertop to be. Somewhere about right there feels about right. Assistant, I need you to measure from here to the floor. That's about 43 and a half inches. We'll make it 44 just for kicks and giggles. I think that that'll be nice. So I think this is gonna be the counter itself because it's the thickest piece. It's about two inches thick. Assistant. So we'll measure this out from this end to this end. Have about seven feet, but it starts to get gnarly about six feet. All right, so we'll cut it down to six feet, four inches. How does that strike your fancy? So we'll just mark it there. So we do have a little bit of a problem with this board and that's, we've got quite a bit of a bow in it. So one of the coolest things about this catalpa wood is the fragrance that it puts off when you're cutting it and sanding it. It's like this very aromatic and, uh, and spicy kind of smell. It's, it's unlike any other wood I've ever smelt before. All right, now let's do a test fit. Oh, right like that. I think I like that. I think I like that a lot. Okay, so now that we've got it cut to the size that we need it and we've fit to make sure that it will, uh, will go there, now we need to take this bow out. All right, so as we take a little bit off of the edges each time, that little gap in the center there just gets smaller and smaller. So we'll just continue to do that until we don't have any more gap left at all. And then we'll just smooth the whole, uh, whole plank out. All right, so I went in the mini barn and grabbed my little hand plane because the uh, sander just wasn't taking off enough material at a time. So this is a little bit more of a workout, but it's moving a little bit faster. I got most of the uh, high spots off with the uh, hand plane. Now we're just uh, sanding down all the nicks and scratches. <laughs> that, that right there was a chore. All right, what I've got here is just a straight board. We we'll use this as a straight edge to guide my circular saw. That way we can cut a nice straight line right down one of these outside edges. More sanding. Here. 
I like it that. I like it that a lot. Now we got the main countertop done. Hopefully the rest of this will go a little bit, uh, a little bit faster. I'll set this over here. All right, so I think we'll use this piece as the uh, the backsplash for the uh, counter and what we'll use to attach it to the wall, uh, as well as we'll cut out some legs and uh, use that just as support. One and a half inches. So if I want this sticking up three and a half inches above the countertop, and that's to five, and then I want another inch and a half underneath. So we need to measure at six and a half inches. And we'll just get our straight edge. Line it up between the dots. And play connect the dots. All right, so now we've done basically the same thing to the uh, backsplash. We have cut it down to size, taken the hand plane, knocked off all the high points on it, and then just kind of sanded it, rounded off the edges so it looked nice and even. So now we're gonna just drill some pilot holes and I've got these rather long screws. We'll attach this to the countertop, hopefully make all that nice and secure. I've just pre-tapped these screws into here, and we're gonna drill them into the countertop itself. Uh, so I set it up on some one and a half inch boards so that it'll lift it up enough so that I can just screw this one in and kind of flatten it out and uh, screw them in as we go. I'm liking that a whole lot. Got a couple of rough little spots we need to take down, but uh, it's looking really, really good. All right, now we'll just do a quick dry fit and make sure that it fits. All right, that should work. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll do the job. This is kind of leaning in just a little bit, so this will help to push it up. It's not gonna be exact. Now we'll just toenail a uh, screw in right here and tie it into the bottom. You should have a stud right underneath the window. There's a, probably actually a couple um, holding up the window frame. So hopefully we'll be able to dig into a stud on that with a lag bolt, hold that end up, level it, drill the other end, and we'll be in good shape. So we got it level. Now we'll just put a lag in on this side. All 
All right, that should be plenty enough to hold it onto the wall without it going anywhere. Now we just have to uh, level it out this way. know if you can see it but now our level is just slightly tilted that direction that way when it does rain water will just roll off the front of it hopefully we won't have any standing on there all right uh, two more uh, two more legs all right there it is three legs it's really quite sturdy now Last thing that we need to do, wipe off all this excess dust and then put a nice generous coat of boiled linseed oil on it. And just pour this on there generously and then just rub it in. This will soak it up really, really fast because it's been drying a long time. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, well that's about all that we've got for you today. Um, man, this is uh, this turned out really, really nice. I love the way that the uh, boiled linseed oil just soaked right into it. The colors in this catalpa wood are just beautiful. The smell is amazing. And uh, yeah, I just, I really, really like it. So, um... well, thank you. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you uh, if you liked it or at least found it entertaining in any way, hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And then uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. See more of what we have going on on the homestead. And yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.